It didn't take long for the anticipated reversal to play out with the euro once again pushing up from that massive support zone down in the 113 area. Over the past several months, setbacks have been repeatedly propped up and Tuesday's bullish reversal has set the stage for yet another bounce with the euro taking out Monday's high in the process to also end a sequence of seven consecutive daily lower highs. While there has been softer data out of the eurozone and downward revisions to growth outlooks, there's been plenty of risk on the U.S. side, along with demand for global equities that should be offsetting. Ultimately, given ongoing risk associated with the U.S. political climate, which should be U.S. trade policy that pushes for a softer U.S. dollar and yield differentials that still show room for greater accommodative adjustment on the Fed side, it shouldn't be surprising to see the euro supported yet again into this big support zone, and it shouldn't be surprising to see the euro build momentum and look to trade back up towards and through the 2019 high at 115.70. And if the euro succeeds in getting back to trading higher, we suspect it will lead to a reversal of the broader flow with the buck vulnerable across the board. Still, with this run-up in U.S. equities looking tired, we could also be on the verge of seeing another big downturn in stocks, which will result in outperformance in the major currencies relative to risk-correlated FX. We're waiting for more clarity on Brexit, though with no vote expected in Parliament this week, it leaves us in some more of that wait and see. Mark Carney did his best to help the pound along on Tuesday, talking expansion and the need for a modest tightening policy to achieve inflation targets. Earlier today, the New Zealand dollar rocketed higher after the RBNZ was out with a decidedly more upbeat decision than expected. Looking ahead, key standouts on the calendar include UK inflation readings, Eurozone industrial production, and US CPI. That's all for now.